Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to another Super Smash Brothers Ultimate versus. Yeah! Today's fan request is Sonic the Hedgehog versus Kazuya. Don't forget to like, Ooh. comment, subscribe, and hit that bell to be notified when more Smash Bros. arrives. And special shout outs to all our members, including our Ultimates. If you guys want to join up, all you got to do is click right here, select the tier that'll work best for you. So, how this is going to go down, the first player to win uh, two matches is today's winner. And we're bringing in Sonic the Hedgehog, a fan favorite. So, if you guys have a fight you want to see Kazuya battle, let us know in the comments section below this video. Awesome! And shoutouts to the uh, peeps watching this live. Yeah, definitely. Yes, the uh, everybody in the uh, chat there. Or live so, chat. don't forget, guys, we need some good... Uh, some good requests so make sure after this video goes public like write a comment and let us know who you want Kazuya to battle next because... yep <laughs> just jumping around jump 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 around ow ow Oops. ow sonic move sonic move ow you know, I guess I'm not too bad at Sonic. Anymore. You're doing pretty well. Oof. Sonic is kind of a fast character. The thing I don't understand about, like, for instance, like, with Tekken, like, a yeah. lot of the characters are kind of, like, evenly balanced against each other, I guess. Like, whereas in Smash Bros, like, characters are so different. Like, you have Sonic, Isabel, Ganondorf, like, they're all completely different characters, like... It feels almost like a weird fighting game because it's like they're so different. The mm -hmm. range of how different they are is almost like unfair. And like, I don't know. It's just weird to me. Like, I feel like, I don't know. Oh my gosh. Sorry. You're fine. You ruined uh, Hayachi's house. Sorry about that. You'll pay. Or not. Don't throw me off the cliff. Yeah, I don't think that Sonic got thrown off the cliff in that uh, video. I mean, but if, if uh, Sakurai had uh, more time to edit it, maybe. Who knows? That would be a fun win animation, for just having, like, mm -hmm. yeah, Kazuya throwing, him... throwing people off the cliff. Yeah, that would be funny. Like, that would be hilarious if he just threw you off the cliff at the end. Like, uh, yeah, in the ending screen. So, let me ask you this. Do you think you're going to be disappointed with the final character reveal? Let's see, if it was Ace Attorney or Crash, I won't be disappointed, but if it's anyone else, I probably will. I mean, let's face it, I was disappointed with Piranha Plant. Piranha Plant was such a troll. <laughs> it was. And then, when I, whenever I say that, like, whenever I say the Piranha Plant thing, people are like, why? He's so important. It's like... No, he's not. It's like, what? It's like, he's like, he was in different video games. It's like, but... But he doesn't... He's not he's necessary. A he's a piranha plant. You could he's have had... Like you could have... Character. You could have had Waluigi in... You know, if they wanted a Nintendo character. Like a Mario character. Sorry, Kazuya. I'm fine. I don't know. Are you going to be disappointed? I'm, I'm always grumpy. I think that people are just bracing themselves to be disappointed at this point. I think that Nintendo is going to make people like sit through all the summer and just be speculating about what's going to be happening. I think they don't even know who it's going to be. No. Uh, I think that Nintendo is going to like watch everybody and see what people want it to be and then like... Do the opposite. Either do the opposite or give people what they want, I don't know. I mean, the fact that... I mean... I mean... Well, well, how many characters were in the final wave anyway? Oh, darn it. Final wave? I mean, there's got to be close to over 80 characters now in total. Yeah, the, the, this year, though, like, it was like Min Min and, like, I don't know. Uh, Pyra? Pyra uh, and Kaz Sephiroth. Sephiroth was December. Oh, Sephiroth. So, yeah, I'm just saying, like, do they... Last year, there were three characters in 2020. So in 2021, there's going to be three characters. So in general, do they usually add new characters, or are they generally adding weird old characters that only Sakurai right? knows who they are and really uh, hardcore fans of the series? I mean, we already know that it's not going to be a Ninja Gaiden because Koei said, uh, we were never asked about this. <laughs> we would love for this to happen, but no. Um, they already decided on the last two characters last year. So... Yeah, so, I mean... 
I can't think of anyone. I mean, I, I, I honestly don't think it's going to be Sora just because. No. I just don't think it would be. I don't know why. I just don't. Kingdom think Hearts isn't on the Switch still. Yeah. So then I don't understand why people would think it would be Sora. I just don't think it will be. No. I mean, there are like Final Fantasy games on the Switch, though. There are several. So, I mean, you could do one of those. They already- they have two. They've got yeah. the most popular Final Fantasy. Oh yeah, Fantasy. they have Final Fantasy VII. Seven, Cloud, and Sephiroth. Yeah, so I don't really understand, like... I hope it's already... Ace Attorney. Yeah. I think Ace Attorney would be, like, a very unique moveset. Or... or Monster Hunter. Yeah, Monster Hunter, and I, I- I mean, I still would think would Crash would be cool, but... I don't know why I think that Ace Attorney would be more fun than Crash Bandicoot because we already have no offense, so we kind of already have a Crash like character, and it's Banjo. Yeah. I feel like he's like Crash. He's not really Crash, but he's similar. I would agree maybe, to that. Maybe it would have been better if, if Crash was in it instead of Banjo, but I feel like Banjo did deserve to be in it because Rare Studios used to be on Nintendo systems for a long time, and like it's kind of like a huge part of like. Nintendo. Totally agree. Because uh, Banjo Kazooie was so popular on the N64, so that's why I feel like he got into the game. Which you still haven't played that. Mm -hmm. I know. I mean, I don't know, Luke. I, I mean, I was happy with Sonic and Mega Man. Once those characters were in the game, I was like, wow, I was, I was beyond overjoyed. I don't really. I don't want to. Sorry, I saw, saw something. I thought it was a oh. bee or something. It was a tiny little gnat. Oh. Uh, bee! I don't really want to be that person, but I don't... I mean... I don't know. I don't really care if Waluigi ever gets in the game. Oh my gosh. Like, why does it even matter? Like, I don't know. Like, But I honestly didn't care if Rosalina was ever in the game either, so... I don't know. Yeah, she was kind of a surprise. Like, I don't- I just see her as like, uh -huh, she was just in that one series, so... Watch it be... Uh -huh. I was just thinking, what if it's, um... What's her face? Uh... Pauline. No, I hope it's not Pauline. They put Pauline in it. And then she's no. sing attack people. Mayor yeah, Pauline. see, that would be something I would- I would think is dumb. Let's see, characters I think would be really dumb if they put them in the game, like, I don't know. I don't know, Pauline. I would not want Pauline in the game. Well, uh... I don't know, like, characters, I mean, I could go through an entire list of characters I wish they wouldn't have put in. You know, but people would be super mad at me. You know, I could do without Isabel. <laughs> oh my gosh! I could do without Byleth, I could oh, do Oh no! I could probably- I mean, I don't really know who Roy is, so I could probably do without him. I was surprised to see Roy come back, actually. <laughs> I really was. So, like, I don't know. I would- for, for Fire Emblem characters, I'd probably just have Ike, and Marth, and... I think I have Lucina and Krom. Maybe just put one of them in. Yeah, they, they originally just did have Lucina. Like, I don't know if I'd have both of them in. Mm -hmm. Alright, so first round goes to Kazuya against Sonic. All right, good job, oh, yeah, Kazuya. Yeah. Okay, now I have to get my head in the game. Get my head in the game. Time for round two of Kazuya versus Sonic. Yeah, I was got a juice. Sonic. <laughs> Sonic. Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. No. So what I was telling Luke on the break is like for the last character, even though I really love Chun Li and I really love um, Tifa, like I would bo love both of those in. Because it's the last character, I feel like if either one of those were in the game, they already have Street Fighter characters in here and they already have Final Fantasy, so I feel like I feel like I would like it to be a character from a series that's not in here already. That's kind of what I hope. Mm. I would be a little disappointed. Even though I would love to see Tifa or uh, Chun-Li in here, I feel like I would be a little disappointed because I'd want to see a new series. Yeah, that's why I agree uh, that like Monster Hunter or um, Ace Attorney would be better. I secretly would rather see Maya as a character than Ace Attorney. Yeah, that's have, personally have him kind of show up as like the assist. Oh, that would be funny. Yeah. Yeah, like I don't know why, but I just like I'm a bigger fan of Maya than Ace Attorney. I like I really fine. like Maya, but that's just me. Like, yeah, if it's gonna be a girl character. Like, if they're gonna have to- if they're gonna put a girl character in here- If anybody would get the letter, like, you know, 
Phoenix would probably misplace the letter. Maya would be the one to probably pick it up. <laughs> yeah, maybe they could make it so it was addressed to him, but then she showed up. Yeah. Instead. That would be kind of cute. That would be cute. I think it would be hilarious if Amy was the last character. <laughs> From Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> I mean, yeah. they haven't had a, a Sega character in quite a while. Uh, yeah, he was in here a long time ago. That would be cute. And then Amy could troll Sonic in the, the cutscene. I still have a feeling it's going to be a girl. It's either going to be Monster Hunter Girl, it's going to be yeah. uh, Maya, or like some girl video game character we're not thinking of. I think the of. most exciting character you could put in this game that I can think of would be Ace Attorney because the moveset would be so interesting. Yeah, that's what I want. I want an interesting moveset for a character. Like, it wouldn't just be like, yes, I would want to see Monster Hunter, but I just feel like the moveset would just be meh. Because Kazuya and Terry and all those other guys, they're amazing, but their moveset is identical to their actual games. Yeah. So if you're familiar with how to play with the Street Fighter characters, the Tekken, the King of Fighters, you're right at home. Yeah. Um, but... It'd be cute if you had a... Oh. I mean, uh, you know, I could, I, I would be down with Bomberman being in here. Bomberman's already an assist, though. Oh, I don't, yeah, I don't see him. Right. That would be impossible. I thought Shantae was an assist, too. I don't think she is. Oh, I don't know. No. Yeah, Shantae would have been a great last character, honestly. I mean, yeah, they kind of messed it up. The fact that they didn't put her, it would have been a girl character. Um, whatever. <sighs> girl character and a character a lot of people like and very cute. And a lot of really interesting possibilities with morphing into a monkey. Yep, that would have been great. I don't even know how they gave her her monkey suit in that, like, promo thing for yeah, the Mii video. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. Because I don't recall there being a monkey suit that you can wear in the game. Yeah, I don't know. No, I don't want to be hit by Sonic. <laughs> Sonic! Sonic Smash! I still can't believe this year is Sonic's 30th anniversary. That's insane. Yeah. Oh, Luke. Hmm. <laughs> Time is something I don't like. <laughs> I, sometimes I think, like, since video games came out in the 80s when we were young, mm. I'm just, like, thinking in 30 years, like, what are they going to do next? Like, they've already done video games. So what are people going to do for fun? Like, They're doing it right now still. Yeah, but it's just, like... It's more... It's, it's just, a booming business. I mean, we, we make a living off playing video games in front of people. Yeah. I mean, that's... I, it's so hard to I explain I mean, that to shows that there's, they're pretty popular. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's like in the 80s, I don't know if you could do that, because not as many people would know what you're doing. Yeah. <laughs> because it was so new. It's mm -hmm. like only a few people like knew what they were doing. Exactly. Probably. And Well, people were skateboarding a little bit, too. Skateboarding! Extremeness! Yeah, totes. Oh, the Sonic Heroes thing. Yay. Are you surprised that video games have, like, gotten to where they were? Because back then, it was just for, like, just, like, a really small crowd of people. I, I I thought that everything had a fad. Like, when the Street Fighter games and fighting games in general started to dry up, and they weren't quite as popular as, as they were when I was little, Yeah. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, you know, this aspect of gaming changed. And then uh, the first-person shooters got really popular, and then the fighting games came back, and... Now it's like RPGs are making a comeback again. So, I mean, I guess it's not really a fad. It's just kind of like it's a... It goes in waves. It goes in waves. Yeah, exactly. It You know, it's popular for like five, six years. And then some other aspect of gaming comes in. Um, and just... There's so many different genres for video games that it's, it's hard for it to completely disappear. Because there's always something out there that appeals to somebody. Whether yeah. you kind of owe PC games for really helping out in the mid-90s, bringing things like The Sims and Warcraft and all this other stuff, you know? Yep. It just, it, the landscape has completely changed that I never really know what's gonna happen, so that's why I'm so excited for all the other stuff. Like, real-time strategy games could make a comeback if Advance Wars is really popular. You never know. It all depends. Yeah. But I'm... I'm really excited about Advance Wars. I am going to be playing the Game Boy Advance version one too because I, I got it on the uh, the Wii U recently, like six dollars. Pretty happy. Oof. 
Oh, Sonic's not doing too well against Kazuya, though. Sonic, move! Sonic, move! But I, I think you're a better Sonic player than I am, so oh. I'm pretty sure the result would be the same. I don't think I am. I think you're pretty good with Sonic. Mm. I'm just- you're just much- you're just very good with Kazuya. It's because he plays like Tekken. That's all. It's, if they would have changed Kazuya's moveset to not be like a Tekken fighter, I don't- I don't know if I would be that accustomed to how he operates. It's okay. But anyway, guys Good and gals, job. that is- ah! Oh, sorry! I didn't mean to hit your leg! Repeatedly! I'm sorry! Are you? Anyway, people, that yes. is going to do it for today's Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Thank you so much for watching another Versus. We hope you guys had a blast as much as we did. Stay tuned later today for our amazing live stream starting around 4 o'clock on something uber awesome. And uh, be on the lookout for more Smash Brothers tomorrow in the comment section below. Tell us you want to see Kazuya battle next time. And stay tuned for our mailing list because that is going to be beyond epic. All right, guys. God bless and happy awesome. gaming. Awesome. See ya.